So the tree you see behind me is the Chinese tallow tree, otherwise known as Triatica sebifera, or even the popcorn tree. Now, um, this tree I would assume originated somewhere in China, but was later introduced by supposedly like Benjamin Franklin or something, you know how it goes. Uh, for its ornamental use um, in the fall, you know, it looks, it looks very pretty with the orange red, you know, it's esteemed for its, its color changes. Um, and we can see a little bit of that right now. It's just starting to turn fall, you know, and leaves are falling. Anyway, that's not why we're interested in this tree though. We are interested in this tree because it is the third best producing, uh, third best oil producing plant known to man with algae and uh, palm, the palm tree, palm oil tree being one and two. The seeds, the popcorn, right? Um, it's a black seed with a, with a white vegetable wax coating. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some of these seeds and we are going to process them and find out um, what kind of yields we can produce with this plant. And, and we're doing this in order to investigate further if this can be scaled up and how profitable it can be, you know? One, from getting the vegetable wax, and two, from the oil from the inner black seed. Uh, I think you can crush it and, you know, refine the oil in some way, create biofuel. We talked about it a little bit in, in one of the previous episodes with the pH. So now it's time to explore that further. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a couple, and I'll show you what these seeds look like. So we managed to grab one of the seeds. They are up there pretty high. You can see that here, what we got going on. It's a little like uh, three, looks really similar to popcorn actually. So we're gonna take one of these off. And um, really hard seed, but as you can see when I'm, when I'm messing with it, let me just make sure you can see this actually. Yeah, so when I'm, when I'm peeling this, look, you see all that? That's all vegetable wax. And so, you know, in theory, we should be able to boil this whole thing and um, get all that get all that vegetable wax off. And I'm sure you could even process the vegetable wax through some sort of chemical process to uh, turn it into oil. You know, removing a hydrogen atom from the chain link or whatever. So, yeah, we're gonna grab as many of these as we can just off the tree, and then uh, we're gonna take them back and and you know maybe do a double boiler or something like that and uh, skim off the the wax from the top of the water. See back at home. Well, you know what? You can want no, 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 no. We'll see you back at home. Go for so we've been before. letting these heat up for a little bit, and I pressed on one, and what I thought was interesting is how it sort of turned turned darker when I was pressing on it. I think, although this is a wax structure around the seed, I think if we were to zoom in really close, we'd see a bunch of little holes, and I think it, it's making sort of a uh, like a web net type thing. I think there's a lot of air inside of the wax, which is why we're seeing a little bit of bubbling and stuff as well. So, um, not quite boiling yet, but just just thought I'd point that out or share that. I don't know how that'd be helpful to this, but it seems to be so. And this is a prime example of a time that I need help from you guys, right? If there's anyone out there who has any experience extracting oils from plants, or more specifically, Tratica sebifera, Chinese tallow, Please reach out to me and, and tell me how you do it or a way to do it. I, I tried to boil this plant. I think I even tried to use ethanol, you know, a, a very high, like 95% ethanol. Um, wouldn't work, you know. Um, I, just, I don't know how to get the, the wax from this plant. I don't know how to process it. Other than maybe juicing it or using a, a ju you know, like a, a, a cold press or something to get it out of the black seed. That makes sense, but... I thought that the wax was the outside coating on this, so that's why I'm, I'm puzzled, I'm confused, and I have, way, I have way too many projects going on to really get to the bottom of this one, so if anyone out there is able to help, that would be very much appreciated, um, and I think, I think we have something here. Similar to the use of the, um, the china berry, I think the popcorn tree, right? I think the Chinese tallow also has a uh, uh, there's something going on here. I haven't quite gotten to the bottom of it, but I think this is this is going to be big. So if anyone out there has one near them, try it out. Try to get the wax from this plant or, or some way of refining it or processing it 
from my research, you know, this seems to be uh, cap uh, possible. It seems to be something that's capable of, of yielding very high amounts of vegetable wax or oil or whatever. And whether or not it's through some big industrial process, you know, I'd like to know. Even if it is, you know, you can look up how to make the atomic bomb, but we can't figure out how to get wax from the Chinese tallow. It just seems a bit silly. So, yeah, please and thank you. Let me know what y'all think. Try to help me figure this one out. And I think we can, uh, you know, this will be a massive page to the Homestead book of uh, of very useful things, right? Up there with making um, making a homemade hard cider or something. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, let me know what y'all think.